to share with you some of my favorite beach hacks. Maybe you've seen these floating around Pinterest or YouTube, whatever. Um, some of them I actually tested out and they sucked. And some of them I've been doing my whole life and they're nowhere on the internet. So I thought I would share them with you, my beloved friends. So here we go, let's jump right in. I've been going to the beach for forever. I'm a Florida gal, so there's beaches pretty much all around me. So I made my own little list of hacks here. And I actually left my list at the beach when I was testing out all the hacks. So thank God I took a picture of it on my phone. So that's what we're going for right now. Um, okay, the first hack, you've heard it all before, baby powder, pack some baby powder in your beach bag. And if sand gets stuck to you or your kids, you can just douse it all, well, you don't even need that much. You just, you know, splat a little bit on you and the sand comes right off your skin, it's magic. I don't know the science behind it. I'm sure like either cornstarch, would that work just as effectively? Try it out. Okay, here's another one. Use a yoga mat instead of a beach towel. What? Genius, right? Okay, so apparently I read on Pinterest that they, uh, you'll be able to get all the sand off of them. That kind of works, kind of doesn't work. Um, but they are a little more cushiony and they're waterproof, right? So there's that right there. You might enjoy that more than a towel. Okay, one thing that you can do is when you take your shoes off, when you get to your spot, you know what I mean, on the beach, is to put your sandals or shoes, whatever you're wearing, face down so that the sun isn't beating on them and then when you go to put them on to go for a walk anywhere, they're not scolding hot. Do you know what I mean? You will thank me for that one. It's a tip that you won't forget. Okay, I have seen this one floating around Pinterest and YouTube for quite some time, and I have to admit that I this is my first time using it. I went to the beach and I bought one of those dollar hampers, and uh, apparently you're, you're supposed to get like your kids' sand toys. You don't even have to clean them off and throw them right into the hamper and then just shake off the sand. And let me tell you, it works. It got all the sand off, unless it's like the muddy, wet, sand, do you know what I mean? Like by the water, I washed those off and then threw them in the bag, but that's not coming off, okay? It has to be like dry sand and that's a, that's a keeper. Okay, one other thing that you can do is hide your valuables in a diaper or like an empty container, do you know what I mean? But definitely in a, in a diaper, if you're worried about someone coming to your mat, like snooping around, the last thing they're going to look for, well, the last thing they're going to take you would think is a dirty diaper. But maybe they have seen these hack videos and maybe that's the first thing they'll take. And then it's kind of like a gamble, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, one more thing is uh, a speaker. I have this little Bluetooth speaker. It attaches to my phone and there's like three little dots on it, volume, power, and all that good stuff. But you can suction this anywhere or just keep it in your bag, whatever. And, and Everyone can enjoy the music. If you don't have one of these little doohickeys, you can just take your phone and then, you know, play music from it, whatever device you have. And then supposedly you put it in a cup and it's supposed to amplify the sound and act as a speaker, but I didn't have that result. Nice. Do it again. Is it amplified? Yeah. Now everyone can party. <laughs> party of one, party for the beach. Keep it down over there. <laughs> this one says too loud. Okay, for the beach, we always bring our red wagon. You can't ride in my little red wagon, except for when you're at the beach. Uh, we, it's, the wheels are supposed to be good for the sand. It's a little tricky to pull it in the sand, but it can be done and you can push through. Uh, back in my days of being um, a non-mom, going to the beach meant like one bag and a towel and like a book or something, a radio. Um, now it consists of everything and the kitchen sink. I bring everything to the beach. There's so much stuff when you have kids that you need to bring to the beach, it's crazy. So a red wagon helps. I mean, it doesn't have to be red, it could be any color. So invest in one of those. They also have like really cute ones I've seen. Well, not they're not like cute, but they're different looking and they're at Costco. I've seen them at Costco and they're around $50, $60 and they are definitely worth the price. Okay, next thing on my list, 
Oh, is a tent. Also invest in a tent. We have just a pop-up tent that we bring. We don't mess around with like the little screwy umbrellas that give you like this much shade for one person. Like we're a family of five. I want my whole family to be able to get in the shade at once because the sun, you know, the UV rays, I don't love them. And you know, it's hot at the beach. The sunshine is blazing on you. I would like my shade to come for my whole family. So a tent definitely does that and I love it. And it's easy to hook up. And then bonus, my husband brings like garbage bags to the beach and he just fills it with sand to weigh our um, pop-up tent down so it doesn't fly away because we've had it fly away on us definitely before in the past. And it is not a fun experience. It was like a hurricane was going on. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, we learned from that experience and now we use sandbags. Okay, the next hack I will share with you, and I shared what I pack at the beach, some tips for packing like snacks and food for the beach, so I will link that below, obviously. But uh, what I wanted to share with you guys is pack individual snacks so that sandy hands don't get everything in the you know family size bag dirty. Either pack the little individual size snacks or pack um, little cups that you can just pour the snacks into. Does that make sense? Check out my food video. It'll all make sense there. I have visuals. Okay, couple more that go with the cooler and that is to freeze water bottles. They act as ice packs. Freeze the water bottle, freeze the water that's in the water bottle, throw it in your cooler, it acts as an ice pack and then it'll defrost within a couple of hours because the sun is blazing hot and ice won't stand a chance. So there's a hack for you right there. Oh, and also freeze the juice pouches. They will also double as like a little ice pack in your cooler. But the cool thing about that is they defrost faster than water. Defrost, yeah, that's the word, defrost. And um, also when they're halfway, Dethaw, defrosted, <laughs> that word is so crazy to me. Um, it's like a little slushy. So that's a bonus for you or your kid. Also, another thing that you could freeze are the yogurts in like the squeezy tube. That's an easy, pretty nutritious little treat for your kids as well. What I like to do at the beach is keep a bucket of water, just like a sand bucket full of water, by our pop-up tent or by your towel, whatever you have. And that way, whenever you wanna reach in the cooler or grab something, you can just wash your hands in the bucket of water. I mean, it's not like you're actually washing your hands, but you can get all the sand off your hands. I just put ocean water in there, so like how clean is that, all the bacteria? But it's cleaner. Well, okay, it's not clean, but you get all the dirt off your hands, okay? I don't know how sanitary that, you can get all the dirt off, dry them off, and then use some hand sanitizer. How about that, okay? Are we settled? <laughs> Okay, one more thing to put in your cooler is a spray bottle. You may think this is weird, but if you put um, ice cold water, even throw some ice cubes in there if they'll fit, if you can jam them in the little spray bottle, um, keep that in your cooler, and then whenever you get hot, you can just mist yourself, your personal mister. It's amazing, it'll cool you down, and you will thank me. Okay, and then the last hack I have for you, I saved this one for the end because it's a little ridiculous. I have to admit though, Alex and I, before we had all of our children, we have three kids, when we had one kid and we went to the beach, we did do this, like before we even saw it anywhere, Alex was like, this is gonna be amazing. And it kind of was, so it's to bring your own little kiddie pool to the beach. It's kind of ridiculous because like, you're at the beach, are you kidding me? You're gonna bring your own kiddie pool? But yeah, if you have other kids and, and then you have a younger kid that you don't wanna chase into the water or they're afraid of the waves or there's huge waves and the undertow, do you know what I mean? Beaches are pretty dangerous. Sharks, undertow, anyone, okay. Strangers, so much going on. So if you want to make sure that your kids are safe, the little ones at least, um, bring a kiddie pool and just fill it up with the water there, but make sure you fill it up in the spot where you wanna keep it because those things are hard to drag. We actually did this when Avelina was little. If I could find a picture, I'll put it up. She's adorable and um, that was like seven years ago. So yeah, nostalgia. All right guys, that is everything that I have for you in this hack video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some little tips. Hopefully something that you haven't heard before was on here. Fingers crossed that it is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you next time. Bye, have fun at the beach.